Archie Bunker versus TV Heaven, Marty Marchetti, owner. All persons connected to this case, please come forward. Get out of my way, Barney. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All principals and witnesses stand up and raise your right hands. <laughs> Do you soundly swear that the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you, God. I do. I, I absolutely do, but that's speaking only for myself. You know? <laughs> the court is now in session. The case of Bunker versus TV Heaven. Judge Anthony Barzini presiding. I object. <laughs> to what do you object, Mr. Bunker? Ah, uh, well, Judge, after all, you know. There's a Marchetti sitting over there and a Barzini up on the bench. I mean, uh, in the interest of what he call a, a fairness there. I mean, don't you think this case is a, a little bit, uh, not to make a bad joke, uh, a whopper-sided? Prison. The man's going from small claims court to prison. <laughs> Mr. Bunker, are you intimating that I would render a biased decision because one of the litigants is Italian? You see, they're all against us, hey, Barzano? I am not your Barzano, Mr. Marchetti. <laughs> Hell, you mean don't prejudice the judge? He ain't gonna be prejudiced against me. I ain't calling. <laughs> I've taken very careful note of your objection. And I consider it moronic. I'm satisfied with that, Your Honor. <laughs> Let's proceed. Now, Mr. Bunker, you are asking for $428 to replace a television set which you bought from Mr. Marchetti. Would you please tell me what happened? Uh, yes, uh, uh, Your Honor. started because uh, I need a brand new TV for my bar and grill, Archie Bunker's place at the other side of Norton Boulevard. If you're ever in the neighborhood, stop in for a light lunch or anything you want on the house there. Wait, me. Mr. Bunker. Uh, it's uh, my attorney here, Judge. He just uh, pinched the outside of my car. <laughs> Maybe he's warning you not to offer me a bribe. Oh, Judge, geez, a bribe is the last thing that came into my head there. No, I was just trying to, you know, the old-fashioned way of passing the time of day, you know, something nice to say that, uh, you know, if you scratch my hand, I would wash your back. <laughs> I think it's a bribe. And I think it's disgusting. <laughs> Mr. Marchetti, let's hear your side of the story. Well, you want to hear it is in a nutshell. You see, this guy Bunker here bought a TV set for me. Only he didn't want to pay the delivery charge. Now, when he and his friend over here went to install the set, they dropped it. I got to object to that. Yes, Mr. Bunker. <laughs> that man over there, Hefner, he ain't no friend of mine. Come on, Arch, have a heart. Ah. And furthermore, that man there, Hepner, who was a suspect here, he was working for this man here, which I would call a perpetrator, at the time of the scene of the crime. Hey, Randall, what is he talking about? Hefner was a lifelong friend of Bunker, and Hefner was on his lunch hour. He was never on no lunch he hour. He was Don't on his lunch hour. What are you talking he about? Gentlemen, stop it. Certainly, you run it. <laughs> the question here seems to be whether Mr. Hefner was on his employer's time or on his own time when he dropped the set. Go ahead, pal. Tell the judge. I object to that man answering that particular question. Why? Because he's going to lie. Oh, what am I going to do with you? Tell him to <laughs> shut up. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Mr. Hefner, and please remember you are under oath. Were you or were you not on your lunch hour, on your own free time, when you delivered the television set? No, Your Honor, I, I was not on my lunch hour. What? He's right, Judge. I have never known that man to lie. You have anything to add, Mr. Marchetti? I'm going to check with my lawyer. <laughs> Very well. I find for Mr. Bunker in the amount of $428. And I have never rendered a decision with greater regret. Will you please get the hell out of here? 